Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Kay and I am here with two of my favorite people in the entire world. We are FTR together, aka Feed the Rhythm. This is Tay Tay. Hey everybody, Tay Tay. If you didn't know, Tay Tay too nice on Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for following me, guys. No, follow me on Instagram. And my this name. is Quincy. She already said my name, so what's up? Um, he's normally actually behind the camera, so this is a treat for us to see him in front of the camera. I don't belong here. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, you know, take the heat, the God, the Messiah of cooking. I'm going to do this on the All the hashtags. All the hashtags. You know, hashtag feed the rhythm, hashtag feed the beast, hashtag panic, because it's, it's on the hat. Uh, hashtag stuff. It's on your hat? Yes. Yeah, mine too. Woo. Hey. Wait. Uh, that way. That way, whatever you know. Ah, rhythm today, anyway, guys. Okay. <laughs> feed the rhythm coming to you for this cooking delight. Oh my god! <laughs> this American theme cooking delight. Hashtag. Hashtag. I'm matching the plates. <laughs> oh my god! So today we're gonna be cooking two of our favorites on the Fourth of July. Basic American foods that we love to normally cook. We're gonna be making some hamburgers. Mm -hmm. ground beef, mm -hmm. and we're going to be making some jalapeno poppers as well. Yay. And then you could go ahead and tell them that <laughs> you're going to dish the American dream, you vegan. <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually going to start with the hamburgers. Yeah. We're going to make our patties. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just finish, like, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how do you see? Oh, we're good. There we go. I thought we could just throw that away. Just set it aside for now. Okay, so we are going to be making our patties. Um, normally, I like to make them at least half an inch thick, maybe an inch, and just about as big as the bun. So kind of like use that as a base. Yeah, to size them up. You know. How many patties? Like, how, how many patties you want, Steph? Two. Well, how many patties you guys? We're gonna make like a couple, like just the size of the burgers. Uh, Wait, can so, I? I'm gonna eat two. Yeah, of course. You're gonna eat two. Okay, so basically, like you just want to kind of like start shaping them into like that. So, Let me get some beautiful hands on camera. <laughs> into the patty, yeah. So you want like first you want to well first you like kind of want to make it into a ball and mm -hmm. then. Am I doing it right? Or is this too small? Mm, you probably want to make it a little bit bigger. Oh, side that on there. Maybe like, it's like about a handful, I would say. And oh. then you kind of want to just push it down to make that circle. So we did wash our hands before this, guys, I swear. I'm so glad I washed my hands. Because <laughs> you would have been having like meat hands. Some dirty meat. Well, let's not say dirty meat. <laughs> It's kind of nasty <laughs> if you think about dirty meat. Okay. Next, we're going to be prepping for our jalapeno poppers. So we're going to be taking the jalapenos. And what we're going to do is we are going to cut off the head right there. Okay. And then we're going to cut it in half like that. Be really careful. Yeah, almost messed up right there. And then we have this bowl right here, so that because we're gonna have to take out all the seeds and stuff mm -hmm. into here. Make sure that we get all that out. Okay, so the next part for making these jalapeno poppers is we are going to take some cream cheese and we're going to place it in the center of each of the jalapenos. Now they're cut open and we gutted the seeds. Really? Yeah. Ooh. So we get to apply butter to jalapeno poppers? Uh, no, it's going to be cream cheese in the middle. Oh. Geez. Yeah. So butter. If I can open this, oh my it's gosh. On the side. I can open it. Oh, right. There you go. <laughs> Hey, gotta be smarter than the cream cheese. Okay. Wow, I got it started. It's okay, we can cut that out in post. No, we're not. Okay, so you'll take one and uh, put it in the center and then make sure that you put the tooth, pack, so you tooth take, back in. You take one, you open it up, 
Hold on, pause. Cheese. Okay, next, uh, we are going to use eggplant in place of the bacon. This is special eggplant, not like a regular eggplant. That's why it's a little bit longer, so that we're going to actually be able to wrap it around the jalapenos. Oh. Don't lie to the people. So this is the eggplant. We skinned it and we cut it up and we're going to get ready to go ahead and wrap our jalapeno poppers with it. Once again, I have never done this before, so I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but we're trying it out for the first time together. So. Okay, I see what you did there. So you take one, like a wonton. And then we're going to kind of like put it over here. And then you put the toothpick back through it, just like that. So, try to get it like... Try to get it like <laughs> uh, and then we also oh, have like our... Do that. No. Can you stick them through it? Oh wait, where's the um, toothpick right that I want? There you go. So you have to like do it this way so that it goes through. Okay. Boom. I think it should stay. Hopefully that might be like the right route. But you can try some of the thick ones as well. Like like this one. Probably won't be that bad because it's a little bit thinner on the uh, bottom. Uh, uh, look at me go. Alright. Not that one. I've actually never tried eggplant non cooked. Is it good? No, it's not. I don't let her deceive you. It's not terrible. <laughs> not means it's but bad. But I means, like it better cut. Means it's not good, guys. That <laughs> <laughs> means it's not good. And how do you cook eggplant? I honestly have no idea. I've never cooked eggplant before. We're probably gonna need to like Google this before we start doing anything. But we're normally, well, mostly we grill everything. These are made on the grill. These are made on the grill. So I think we're just gonna try really? to go for it. Action. Hello everybody, it's Chef Boyardee, aka Tay Tay Too Nice, for the people at home, FTR Feed the Rhythm. Uh, right now we are officially about to cook our hamburgers right now. I got Steph on jalapeno poppers, and she's going to show y'all how to do that. So after you finish prepping your jalapeno poppers, you want to go ahead and place them on a piece of foil before you put them onto the grill. After Tay Tay adds the burgers on, we're going to go ahead and close the top and we're going to really get things cooking. And now Tate is going to help you with our burgers today. Ooh, sounds good. Delightful. This one's pretty much done. Mm. Yeah, after you flip it a few times. Put them, take them a while longer. So yeah, that red. <laughs> yeah, you see it. Yeah, you see all that red, that juice. Everything is prepared and ready. We are ready to go ahead and have our barbecue.